welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to share with you my pantry organizational tips in this video. I did a survey a couple weeks ago on Instagram and Facebook about what kind of videos would you like to see from me and I'm excited because I love to make this type of videos. It's about cleaning or organizing part of your house. So I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do making this video for you. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and let's get right to it. Alrighty, so my pantry really, really did need a deep cleaning and organizing. So this is how it looked before. Everything looks like it just was shoved in, and it really needed some major TLC, and I'm excited that I tackled this project. Sometimes it's really hard to start and you just keep putting it off, but the outcome is amazing, you guys. So to start, the very first thing I did is grab every single item in my pantry and just pull it out and put it like on my island or any surface you have a table. But what you want to do is just take everything completely out. I think this is called the Kamari method. I have a shock board on my door so I just wiped it all off. So this is everything that I took out out of the first side of the shelves and I put some of the other stuff over here. I ran out of counter space but I'm halfway there. I still need to take out all of this but first, I'm going to tackle this side. So next, I swept every single nook and cranny because there were a lot of crumbs and powdered sugar and whatnot. So you want to get your space really clean to start with a clean slate. I also wiped my wire shelving with some vinegar and water solution, making sure there was no sticky residue left. So now that the pantry is semi-clean, what I have to do is go through all of these um, packaging and jars and cans. Well, first of all, I need to clean the ones that are dusty. And then I need to start regrouping like the pastas with the pastas and the rices and all the cans with the cans. See what's expired, what's not. And throw most of the boxes and the packaging that they come with because I have a bunch of this crystal containers that I can pour the stuff in. So now I separated and consolidated everything into its group. Like over here, this is all baking, I have the cereal. And then I have glass bottles over here, a couple of sodas, and then all of this, this actually doesn't go here, but all of this is rice and pastas. I have the things that are in like bags. The mac and cheese belongs to the rice and pastas. I have all of my cans over here, uh, power bars or protein bars, and then I only have two of these cake things, all of my breads. Uh, beef stock, chicken stock, and like I said over here, it's all baking things. So I grabbed my rag and started cleaning all the bottles and dusting and wiping everything. And I was actually watching, um, I think, Pirates of the Caribbean with my kids. So it was pretty, it went pretty quick, I must say. Sometimes cleaning and organizing can be very relaxing, I must say. I already owned some containers and organizing items, but I also bought some from Marshalls and others. I've been collecting them over time, and I also heard that the Dollar Tree has pretty inexpensive ones that are great for any organizing. So this is my small but beautiful, clean and organized pantry. This just makes my heart happy and it makes me very peaceful and 
I actually want to cook more now so I really recommend that you just pick a space in your house and you don't really have to spend that much money you can just like I said the Dollar Tree has many really good things you can go thrift shopping I have a couple of containers that I actually found in a thrift shop you just have to like wash them real good or you can just like repurpose and recycle stuff that you already have in your house Having your pantry items separated, organized, and in containers gives them a specific home so that next time you take them out and put them back, you know exactly where they go and it's going to be so much easier keeping your pantry clean and organized. As you can see, I have designated areas for like my baking items and the popcorn with its condiments. And then the next shelf is breakfast items, my gluten-free pancake mix, granolas. And then the next shelf is my oatmeals and add-ons, honey. The kitchen is the heart of the house and I think that the pantry is a great first room to start an organizing project. And just starting with one organized space actually does snowball into you tackling more projects in your house. And it really does just bring you a sense of accomplishment, which will definitely bring joy to your daily flow. I love how everything is visible and readily available, like using that Lazy Susan. And also how my kids, I put everything in their lower shelf so they can just grab a snack. And then I labeled every single jar and container with this white marker that I purchased at Michael so that we know exactly what's in the container and there's no confusion. Let me know down below in the comments if you like this video and you want to see more organizational videos and maybe you can suggest one that I could make next. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!